Princeton University researchers have found a way to get truly fine print with lines just 100 nanometers wide out of a much wider inkjet nozzle. Their discovery could help make it more practical and less expensive to print electronic circuits onto large flat surfaces such as video displays. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. What Cybele Korkut has done in this lab can best be seen in a movie that looks like a still image, as if nothing is happening at all. It shows a jet of liquid, which could carry tiny conductive particles as easily as ink, shooting straight as a rod from a nozzle 5,000 times wider than the line being drawn. Normally, jets like this tend to break up or whip around like uncontrolled fire hoses. To researchers here and to some entrepreneurs, the stabilized jet suggests a way to make electronics factories more like newspaper presses. I think the initial applications that would be of the greatest interest are in uh, really large displays. Um, and large area antennas and sensors. The project began in conversations between two chemical engineering professors, the late Dudley Seville and Ilhan Aksai. Grad students' experiments aimed at practical applications revealed gaps in the theoretical picture. We did not understand why it worked, why it didn't work, but we knew that there were some conditions where it could work. So trying to figure out why it worked took almost two PhD theses and 11 years of hard work and finally uh, Sibel is the person who figured out why it works. One of the um, measurements one can take is the current, the electrical current in the system and that current was showing some weird behavior, some unexpected behavior. Following that lead, Korkut found she could stabilize the inkjet just by controlling the electrical properties of the air or gas around it. That was really exciting for me to, to be able to have that control over the jets. Korkut and Aksai stress that there's a lot more work to be done, both to model these processes mathematically and to scale up to practical industrial machinery. A company called Vorbeck Materials has already licensed the technology in the hope of commercializing it. What Sibel and Ilhan uh, and Dudley did in their research was take something that right now costs a billion dollars or more, which is an electronics fabrication uh, uh, facility, and reduce that down to something nearly as simple as an inkjet printer. Patrick Regan. NJN News, Princeton.